<laughs> Boy, I'm glad I am not trying to do this on a fully loaded Alaska. That would have been an absolute nightmare. Oh. Wow, this is the road. <laughs> Almost taking the wagons out of the track. Just let them pass. Okay, we made it to a big place. A very long name it has. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna fill up here. Huh? I don't know what he's trying to sell me. I think it's something illegal. So we are now in Ambatolampi and Francois told me, okay, you can ride to Ambatolampi, but if you reach before two o'clock, you can actually continue to, um, what's it called now, Ansira Bay. Of course, if somebody says that to me, my mind thinks challenge accepted. Madagascar feels like a combination of India and like Malaysia and a bit of Africa. It's a very interesting combination. Somehow it's a single trail now. <laughs> No idea what he was saying. Something about the road ahead. <laughs> it sounded like he was trying to warn us for something, I don't know. But DJ said go ahead. It just starts raining. It's finally caught up with us. Here comes the rain and also the thunder. I think we're just gonna stay here for now, wait it out a little bit. You hear that? Thunder? Or two maybe? Oh, he can ride. DJ can ride. <laughs> he already lost me. <laughs> Route is blocked. There's a truck stuck. Oh man. <laughs> we did it. Oh! This is mega slippery. Like you wouldn't believe. Look, there's these young boys, I think mainly. And they're pushing like kind of like a big wheelbarrow or it's not even a wheelbarrow it's just a one wheel and they're pushing this wood that is some really hard work very strong people look at this that must be uh Ansirab. i'm shattered <laughs> it took us more than 10 hours of constant riding 